Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, Rami Z, um, quick trade again, DCTH. Um, I'm in this thing at 12 cents, moved up um, a little bit, went up crazy pre market, but I bought on the dip. Um, as you can see here, it's a little longer term chart. And um, this thing is a for former supernova, supernova a few times before. We had a little news come out this morning. Um, wasn't too much of credible news, but um, up six percent already, almost five point five five percent. See my orders right here at fourteen cents. Um, this thing's gonna take a little more time because you know the volume kind of decreased right here. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of buyers come in as always. It's creating a U-shaped pattern right here, so I always buy on the U-shaped because it is strong indicators of a stock setting up to break out. Um, we keep getting stuff at 13. We have a lot of sellers at 13 cents. So I got my sale, sell at 14 cents right here. Um, if we could take these guys out, we'll be okay, but um, there's a lot, there's like a wall of sellers. When we say wall of sellers, this is what we mean right here. But there's a lot of buyers that that are buying at 12.99, and a lot of sellers selling at 12.94. The thing is, we need a, we need more volume to come in. Um, I see a lot of people giving up when it hits the 13 cents. See, um, and the bulls like we almost all work together to try to break this. So I'm gonna give this a couple more minutes to see if we could break this. If not, I'll be selling soon. Um, just want to make like maybe three, four, five percent would be all right. Six, seven percent would be great. But it, if it breaks the open mark, uh, we could see another breakout. But we're not gonna get greedy, guys. When you trade, um, trade smart. You know, don't let fear and greed get to you. Uh, messes you up. Try to stay calm. You know, um, when I trade, and I paper traded for almost a whole year, so not, I like to pretend that it's fake money. I know it's real money, but at the same time, I hide my P&L column, so I won't be basically trading the money, only trading the price action. Look at the percentage. Um, so you ever get, you know, in, in a real position size, I only have 4,100 shares, so not that much of a profit but it's it's profit you know like I always say compounding is everything in this game if you could you, you know you could win 50 60 percent of the time and still come out profitable you know you don't have to be a perfect trader as long as you got a little edge you know you have your edge um, which means you know something is probability the probability of something is more likely to happen than something else that um you know I, i'm seeing a lot of buyers coming in on the times and sales which is a good thing um still got this wall of seller at 13 cents hopefully we could take these guys out because this thing's oh, this thing is known to be a supernova in the past um i know the sec says you know former or past performance is not indicative to future results but Honestly, you guys, quite frankly, it is most of the time because, you know, a lot of traders see this. It's a former runner. We just broke 13, you guys. Let's see. Let's see if we can hold that or not. If it's going to get stuffed at 13. 13 cents. There we go. 13.09. 13.01. Some people are giving up. I'm not sure if there's a lot of shorts in this or not. I really didn't check today. But it's a low price stock. Um, a lot of people don't like shorting low price stocks. Because, you know, those things could go up crazy. Especially DCTH. This thing, some people call it a scam. You can call it whatever you want. But, actually, you can make a lot of money off scams. Pump and dumps, whatever. You can make a lot of money. If you know, if you have your little edge have a little patience me I don't have too much patience that's why I, you know I, I I'll even take small profits because you know a lot of traders lose money in this game so any profit is, is good profit you guys so we're coming up 
1307, 1306. It's breaking out a little bit. If you let me zoom in so I can show you guys on the minute chart. It's creating light, higher lows right here. It's forming a triangle. Let me get my trend line. Where is my trend line? You could see, anyways, you could see a, a triangle right here. If you make a trend line like this, like this, it's like a triangle wedge. There we go. I haven't used this in a while. You can see the stock is being squeezed right now. If we continue on this little momentum, we just need a little more volume to come in. This is what we call a triangle setup, ascending triangle. So if we could break this, you guys, it's creating higher lows right here. You know, your best friends in the market, like Dekmar says, are U-shaped patterns and triangles. The U-shaped patterns, I usually buy on this. I don't usually buy on the break. I like to be early before everybody else comes in. Um, this thing is getting stuffed a little bit. We have a lot of buyers coming in at 13 cents. So hopefully... I don't think it'll go up to 14 cents anytime soon. For the sake of this video, I'm going to lower my order a little bit. Because I don't want this to be a really long video. Um, got a lot of buyers coming in though. You can see in the times and sales, there are 32,000 shares, 9,200 shares, 100 shares, 100,000, 20. There's a lot of different buyers coming in right now. But this thing keeps getting stopped at 13 cents. But like we say in prior videos um all the resistance becomes new support so 13 cents was uh all the resistance so all the resistance hopefully will become new support so hopefully 13 cents will be a support if it breaks under 13 cents it could go back to 12 8 12 7 12 5 but so far we're we're holding this 13 cents hopefully we'll keep making higher lows when we say higher low, just every time the, you see this, even though it, it gets a little lower right here, or higher highs, it's becoming higher. You know, the low is becoming higher. Even though the minute we had a red, the, the red minute here was still even a little higher. And I usually have um, a longer term chart. You know, I played this a couple times before. Um, I usually have the longer term chart. This is a 184 hour chart, which is a little more clear to me. 184 hour chart. So we could see um, this thing spiked a lot before. And right now we kind of bought it on a dip. So it's starting to squeeze a little more. When sh maybe shorts are covering because it just broke this triangle. Got stuffed at 13.2. Let's see if we could break this triangle. This ascending triangle. Here we go becoming getting stuffed a little bit but you know these nasdaq stocks they get stuffed a little bit doesn't happen perfectly stocks don't shoot straight up but like i was telling you guys um when i made this trend line it's a triangle and if we could break that triangle this triangle indicates that stocks being squeezed so the bulls are in control right now keyword being right now keywords Seems like we're having resistance at 13.2. And we're going to give it one more candle to see if it breaks. And this minute right here, we're getting stuffed at 13.2. Give it a couple minutes, you guys. gonna lower my order if I see it get, keep getting stuffed um, like in trading it's you know people move people move stocks you know all these the stocks move because people are moving them so we need volume more a little more volume the more the volume the more profit you can make 
the more the stock can move. We need buying volume. Right now I'm seeing a lot of sellers come in, but there's a lot of bidders stacking up at 13.7. So hopefully we will be able to hold this 13 cents. As long as we hold this 13 cents, if this becomes, as long as it continues to make higher lows, it's a good sign. We broke our little triangle here. Now a bigger triangle is forming. See a lot of buyers coming in. Make a line for a bigger triangle right here. Right here. So if we could break that triangle again, it will show that the stock is still being squeezed. If we break under this triangle, the, bull, the bears might take control. Because um, people will sell, lock in their profits. Um, a lot of people will give up on the stocks. Looks like we're kind of broke this little support right here, almost. Our support, I don't want to make too many lines, but it's 13 cents going this way. So here we go, 13 cents. You see a lot of sellers locking in profits, getting scared out. I could have sold that 13 to you guys, but I'm going to give this thing a couple more minutes. I see a lot of bidders right here um, stacking up at 13 cents. So hopefully it should hold this 13 cents. We're going to have a little consolidating. Wow, we just broke down from the 13 cent area. But you see this bottom shadow right here? So a lot of people bought on the, on the little down perch. gonna change my order actually don't want to make this video too long instead of 14 cents I'll probably change it to 13 cents hopefully we'll get filled if, if these guys get taken out could be just a minute of consolidation just have still have a little support right here. That'll be the next support. See now we're having a lot of sellers, you guys. That's why this you see the stock going down. A lot of sellers, not that many buyers, volume decreasing right here. They always say selling to strength, but it's alright, so we could for the sake of the video just want to let it play out for a couple more minutes don't want to make the video too long like I said but at the same time it's only 4100 sh shares of a 12 cent stock so it's basically about a $500 position stocks are still in this channel broke down from our ascending triangle like I was like I said earlier see when it broke down the ascending triangle a lot of traders see this and recognize that, so they're locking profits. Stock held the previous support right here at 12.7. These two candles of red right here. Might get stuffed again at 13, you guys. So let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Get rid of this. I'm going to actually put my order in at 13 cents. I don't know what happened there. There we go. Here's a two minute chart. I'm on the two minute chart. Still having higher lows. Didn't break this resistance show you a five minute chart the red candle red candle red candle red candle this thing ran in pre-market so a lot of people locked in profits as soon as it opened it's basically like a domino effect everybody else panics out this is all panic selling maybe shorts covered right here some people bought on the dip take it back to a one minute chart
right now. Let me give this thing one more minute. You gotta be a little more patient than me, guys, but it's better to trade to fit your personality. Don't change just to trade, you know. I don't want to change my personality just to... I'm an impatient person, you know, kind of anxious type of person, so don't have too much patience. Um, the lesser time you are in a stock, you know, anything could happen. Bad news could come out, like I said last time. The less time you're in a stock, the less risk to me, I see. And I like to lock in profits, so I know I should have locked in profits above 13. Basically, kind of, not to sound cocky, but kind of knew this was going to happen if it broke down from the 13 cents. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know. So, let me zoom back in. Now it's having a hard time getting past this 1283. And, like, again, we broke down the 13. So, like before, previous resistance became support. Now, previous resistance becomes support. Um, Previous uh, uh, support before it became new support. So hopefully, if this day, if it holds this 12.78, hopefully it'll hold. But if it breaks down again, we're gonna go to the previous support from that, um, which will probably be. Let's check it out. Under that, the last support it had was about 10, 11 cents. So we don't want to go to there because then we'll be in a losing trade. So, don't want to cut losses either, so don't want to turn a winner into a loser. That's why a lot of traders have problems. They let greed get to them. So, I still have my thing at, my sale at 14 cents. If I wasn't making this video, I would give this time to play out a little bit because I see it hold support and might squeeze up a little. But I'm going to sell for the sake of the video. I'm actually putting the sale in on my phone because it's much easier for me. 13 cents. So we're right here. We're one, two, three, four, five. These guys got these guys got to get taken out. Then we'll get taken out. Right now we're at 12.8. So if it's if it has to go a little above 13 for me to get filled, hopefully it doesn't happen too fast, so I could actually get filled. Sometimes I'll go too fast and you won't get your order filled. Got big seller, big buyers right here. One little big seller. He's so he's gone. Got a big buyer right here, 78,000 shares. Zoom in a little bit, you guys. A lot of buyers coming in. Stocks making higher lows again. A lot of the smaller triangle pattern. Ascending triangle right here, if you could see it. U shape pattern. Some people call it an ABC pattern also. We need a little more volume, you guys. Some, some people, you know, this is like the game of making money. So people will take their profits and move on to the next stock. Which, you know, we should have took our profits. But at the same time, I wanted to show you guys just like exactly what we said. When it broke the triangle, smart money sells right here. Because most traders, you know, when it comes down to the stock market, most traders do know what they're doing. This is like a big game, the smartest game in the world. So... When they see a breakdown, everybody else sells, you know. We have trader, traders that bought it at the top. And then we have new traders that probably came in or some people added to their position or shorts covering. Now it's making higher lows again. We have another little triangle pattern right here. And right here is our resistance. We can close. Um, hopefully we could break this little wall of 12.9 again. 
and 13 will be another resistance point I sold my I should actually sell it make it 12.99 just in case it does touch but I want you to guys to see what happens here we go we just hit 13 stock out squeezed I sold I sold still about half of my shares more than half now I only have 1200 shares left quick quick little volume spike I have 12 shares left right here and it got stuffed again you guys sometimes that will happen like I had 4100 shares and um, only 12 left so I guess it, it always it's only sold um, 2900 of my shares somebody bought so we're gonna see if it like a, it didn't break the 13 cents we have a shadow right here keeps getting stuffed at 13 cents so a lot of sellers come in at 12.99 13 cents we're gonna see if it breaks in again so we could get sold at 13 cents we only have 1200 shares left you guys when it broke this little channel a lot of people bought in because they see the same thing I see but we needed more volume more buyers to come so we could break the 13 cents which we probably didn't have enough so still making higher lows right here higher highs I mean but keeps getting stuffed at the previous resistance at 13 cents like I said I should have made my sale order for 12.99 but it could touch 13.1 13.2 real fast and get, we could get filled I see a lot of buyers coming in another 300 shares sold It's because of time, you know, we've been in an hour. We're at 13 cents, you guys. So we're getting filled. Keep getting stuffed at 13 cents. A lot of people are, there we go. So you can see sometimes you don't get filled. Now we only have, if you look at my position, only 800 shares left. You always put a two zero next to all these numbers. Now we see a, a lot of buyers, sellers coming in. Now we have four shares left so people buy it off me and here we go we're sold you guys but this was a great example for you to see sometimes it, you, you'll put your sale order to sell at one chunk and it won't sell in one chunk because the volume actually even though it's a lot of volume it's it's not crazy like morning like like in the morning as soon as it opens you see all this volume coming in even though it's probably selling volume there's a lot of volume coming in so the volume decreased even though we got sold it took a few times to sell maybe three four times as you guys saw that's my video for today thanks for everybody for watching thank you for everybody for supporting subscribing um appreciate everyone so much thanks thanks again good luck trading to everyone and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me thanks again have a good one.